Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. Last time we left off, well, we had to hospitalize our friends, and we had to kind of split up into two groups, because the people, some people had to take care of the ones who are sick, and they think that we already touched them, you know, we may be infected already, so we gotta take care of them, while everyone else, well, they're gonna be at the hotel waiting for us or doing whatever. And, well, it's time that we actually check up on some of the people here, so let's go ahead and do that. They said we should check up on what's um Komaida, but you know we can we can check up on the other people. I mean, why the hell not? Let's see. Uh, first, I'll see um what's her name, Holly Buki's doing. So uh, it doesn't look like she's gonna be any better. I mean, oh, well, let's see. Let's talk to her. Good morning, sir. It's a great honor to have you visit again. Um, thanks. Ordinarily, I can express my gratitude with a song, but unfortunately, we're in a hospital. I wouldn't do so. I wouldn't do to me. Uh, it wouldn't do to. Uh, it wouldn't do to make too much noise here. Therefore, I'm still. I shall postpone. Uh, postpone my thank you song until I'm discharged, sir. The order of refusing to sing. That sure is messed up. So yeah, she's still not doing well. Can't do anything there. And before we check on Komida, let's check on uh, Uari. I wonder how Nadai is doing, though. I mean, I haven't seen him once yet. Uh, well, she looks like she's still crying, so... <laughs> oh, I couldn't sleep because the hospital's scary. How much longer do I have to stay here? Well, um... If, if there's... Uh, is there even a way to cure this fever? No, Monokuma, we can't take that for granted. <sighs> okay, well... Those two are, well, that's that. So let's go ahead and just check out, uh, check on Komida. Maybe he's okay. Or maybe not. Sumiki, how's Komida doing? He isn't recovering. I think, I think he may actually be getting worse. Seriously? His pulse is getting weaker. At this rate, there's a chance he could go below the critical point. Is it really that bad? But as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Komida die. Never! I get how you're feeling, but don't work yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> hey, Nata, it's almost time for the call. We should get back to the lobby. Yeah. As we left Komida's room, I reflect on my own lack of power. Ah. <sighs> Can't you seriously take him back to the lobby? Why do I gotta walk there? I'm complaining when it's like not even like a two second thing, but uh, whatever. Oh, the communication light's blinking. Seems like they're already waiting. Let's get started. Yeah. Okay. I pushed the button right into the blinking light and the screen flickered to life. Looks like this thing's still working. And the other end was... Hello! This thing on? Can you see my beautiful face? We see you, Soda. Good, because we can, we can we can see your poor faces too. I guess we should let them know about Komida. So, is it just you over there? Nope, we're all here, except for Sionji. What happened to her? Hmm, the petulant one has named all of us her foes. She has... She shut herself in her room the moment we arrived here. She refuses to speak to anyone. She says, uh... Oh, wait. She says she won't come out until the spare disease is dealt with. So she won't even meet with a motel group? Sounds like they've got some problems on their own over there. So how are things over there? Well, about that. It's Komida. Something's wrong with him. No kidding! We all knew that already! That's not what we mean. He, he might actually be about to die. Truly! But he will be alright, won't he? You can save him, can't you? Well, that's no joke. If we lose Komida so soon after he die, we we can't really say anything yet for sure yet. That really does sound terrible. Monami, why are you with them? Um, I don't know much about the fever, so I thought it would be dangerous to go to the hospital. Oh, just shut the fuck up, will you? You're a fucking stuffed doll. What do you have to worry about a fever for? You mustn't discriminate. The spare fever is just one scary disease. If we're not very cautious, the entire island could... So, until we figure out how to deal with it, I'm gonna stay right here and... What the heck? Okay. The 
Before I could react, Kazuri pushed the button and hung up on the call. That fucking rabbit! I'm gonna fucking kill her! Ugh. I'm... I'm gonna go out, head outside for a bit. I need to cool off. Kazuri was stomped out of the hospital. Anyway, I guess there's nothing to do but wait. Wait for something to change. Or for something to get better. And so I waited. It wasn't like there was anything else to do. There's nowhere in the hospital you can really relax. Only wait. I ended up spending a day passing, uh, pacing around the lobby. Kazuri just kept on going in and out of the hospital. Eventually. Finally. Oh, really? That's the whole day right there. Uh, announcement. 10 p.m. Sound of waves. Pleasant dreams. Screw you. Time flies and you're busy, huh? It's time for our call. When it's over, we'll have to go back to the hotel. That's such a pain going back and forth. Before we go, we should check on Komida one more time. You can you go do that then. I'll handle the call over here. It's not like we have anything to report. Um, I'll be done pretty quickly. Well, yeah, I guess. Um. Hold on. There's a there's a note from the guide here. It says. There's a bug in the game that prevents hiding the dialog boxes during the next section. I tried to use screenshots from previous updates before I could, but sometimes they weren't any. That's she's like creepy right there. Whoa, Miyota! What are you doing in the corridor? You have to rest, you know. If I'm gonna be honest, sir, I've grown tired of resting all day. Furthermore, simply resting makes me nothing but a burden, so I thought I would come out and see if I, there was anything I could help with. But I suppose that resting is an appropriate thing to do, as, as you suggest. Well, yeah, you should go rest. We want you to go back. We want you back in full health as soon as possible. Yes, sir. That was creepy. Yes, it was. Just having her there. Yeah, I don't know. It was a little unsettling. And actually, we can. Well, I'm going back in here because um, we can just talk to her again. Do not worry, sir. I shall not. I shall rest properly as instructed. Oh, actually, okay, they really need to do that, you know, I'll probably waste a few seconds doing that, but whatever. And before checking on Kamina, once again, let's check on Owari. Make sure she's okay. Oh, man, I recorded a lot today. I probably don't need to record another, at least for another few days, I should be fine. Um, so it's night again. I'm scared of the dark. A monster's gonna come and eat me. Oh, now she's crying again. If she was her normal self, she just hit and she just hit any monster that tried to eat her, or at least that's what she say she'd do. Yeah, it's making me think like you know, is this like their deep like is this like their true selves or like their deep you know emotions? I don't know. Somehow I doubt it, but eh, whatever. Let's see. Samuki was concentrating on Komida and didn't even notice me entering the room. Has she been there? Has she been tending to him all, all this time? Hey, Sumiki. Sumiki? She didn't even respond. She just kept tending to Komida, her back turned to me. I moved forward and tried to try, trying to peek at her face. Hey, Sumiki, are you alright? Oh, she got scared. I see you finally noticed me. Oh, please don't scare me like that! I almost got myself wet! Uh... Um, are you here to visit Komida? I just came here to see how how he was doing, but are you sure you're not too tired? Maybe you should take a rest. Um, are you perhaps... Well, it'd be embarrassing if, it, if I got it wrong, but... Are you worried about me? Well, yeah, sure, I guess. <gasps> Thank you very much! I'll never forget that moment! I'll remember as long as I live! <laughs> I'm all better now, so please let me go back to uh, let me get back to Komida. Did she even notice what I was trying to say? Well, I guess she's really giving us her all. Maybe I should just get out of her way. Okay, so back in the lobby we go. Ew. So, how's Komida? Actually, I'm more worried about Sumiki. I don't think she's gotten any rest at all. So she must think Komida's condition requires constant attention. So, how did things go over there? Is the call finished already? Well, yeah, no one had anything to report, so we got it done in no time. It seems they're looking for ways to cure the fever, but there are no developments on, on that front yet, either. 
So, no one got anything done today. Great. Not much we can do about it. Let's hope something happens tomorrow. And, uh, we walk back to the hotel, the mood even darker than yesterday's. Ah. <sighs> Of everything that's going on, one side just doesn't seem to cover it all. The more I think about the situation, the deeper my worries get. Anyway, uh, whatever. Anyway, I should get I should get to bed. Maybe I should need some sleep. Besides, if I go straight to bed to the hospital first thing tomorrow morning, I have to go straight to the hospital first thing in the morning. Having so reassured myself, I sigh deeply once more and then slowly close my eyelids. A certain scene floated dimly in my mind, unbidden. It came slowly, from somewhere deep within my subconscious, some consciousness, like a watercolor painting, slowly filling in, slowly and dimly. Hmm. It's a classroom. I remember this classroom, but I'm not sure where it is. I can hear voices. Someone, someone's talking. Did you hear? He's actually going to go to Hope Speed Academy. Can you believe it? Is he really that much of a genius, though? But it's just noise. Unimportant. I don't listen. I just stare vaguely out the window. I don't want to hear them. But they keep on talking. What, you didn't know? Um, know what? Hope Speed Academy aren't just looking for geniuses. But is this supposed to be like a super exclusive school for special kids? I want to block my ears. I want to run away. I want to go into a place where I belong. That place isn't here. It's a place where I too could stand proud. Really? You can do that? So then, is he? What else could it be? I mean, I know it's not. I know it's like he has some kind of talent. Um, he. Uh, it's not like he has a kind of talent. Hope Speed Camera are looking for. He's. He's just a normal guy like everyone else. Well, he he's free to revere whatever, whatever he wants, but it must be hard for his parents. It's their money after all. Just leave me alone. I just, I just want to be able to stand proud. Wait, what is this? Who's speaking? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Hmm, so that might have been a very, well, uh, important thing right there. Did you know it's easy to lower a uh, new acquaintance's guard if you start their conversation with a story about one of their failures? So let me introduce you. Let me introduce myself on my own. In the wilderness I live in, being popular is a symbol of strength. And so, in order to boost my own popularity, I sent myself a fake love letter. I took it to a friend and I could show it off, but unfortunately, all I had was fake was the envelope. When he asked me to show the letter inside, I grew desperate and explained the situation thus. I said the letter had been, uh, had been written using only very special ink that only, only those chosen by God can see. Oop, oop, oop. When I did, he immediately explained that sure is one passionate love letter. But that's where things started going wrong. Because he'd, he'd, shown, he'd, he'd shown he could read the sacred text. The people around him started bathing him with admiration and applause. From then on, he hogged everyone's respect, acting as a messenger of God. Soon, he, had, he was worshipped all over the world. Even now, he works his he works uh look he works his believers and and sells those mystical vases. He's making a killing on them. My slip up made him filthy rich. It's vexing, an incredible failure. That was that has been my failure story. How was it? Did it put you at ease? If it did, how about buying one of my uh, appreciation vases? I have a quarter to fill, so I'll give you a good price. Alrighty, so that. How much more time do I got? Okay, well, okay. Ah, <sighs> morning already. But something's wrong. My body feels heavy. Not just heavy, there's something soft and warm. Almost like. Did it happen again? Why is she here again? I mean, we're not in the hotel. I, I mean, we're not in the hospital. We're in the hotel here. I can't breathe! <laughs> I told you to stop it. It tickles. So Mickey again, get off! I can't breathe. Uh, finally, you're behaving. Now I can sleep peacefully, huh? Oh, uh, he not uh, your cyanosis is back. Oh, uh, yeah, he not. Uh, you're gonna go limp and stay with me. Uh. 
Are you back, Hinata? Oh, thank God, I thought you died of suffocation. Sumiki, what are you doing in my room? Hey, what time is it? We haven't even had a morning announcement yet. Oh, now that you mentioned it. Huh, I came to wake you up, Hinata, but I accidentally fell asleep. How the hell did you accidentally fall asleep? On top of me. But I have good news. Um, You see, Komaito's uh, condition finally improved. He's out of risk. Really? So I came here to call you two, but Kazunio's door was locked. Alright, mine's busted. I have Miyota to thank for that. Anyway, you have to come back to me to the hospital. We can help Komaito now. Yeah, got it. I got myself ready as quickly as I could and returned to the hospital with Sumiki. I still wasn't sure why Komaito wasn't was, uh, even worth the trouble, though. Well, whatever. Alright, so let's speak with her real quick. Komaito's in his room. We should go see him now. Okay. Can I speak with anyone else, though? I'm gonna try it, actually. Okay, speak with Miyota here. Morokuma hasn't made his announcement yet, so I think Miyota's still asleep. Oh, I'm sorry for speaking out of turn. Oh, well, I can't actually be sure of that she is, but... But we shouldn't wake up the patient, so let's just go check on Komaito's condition first. Okay. Why don't we do that, then? So, is he okay? Oh, he's not in bed. Oh, yeah, look, he's up. So, maybe he's actually doing better. Komaito was out of bed and standing in the middle of the room uh, when we entered. What is that next to his mouth? Is that like a thing with a game, or is he drooling? Komaito, can you hear me? Hinata came to visit you. The Miyota twins are singing a canon. I see. I understand now. There are two of them. They're the Olsen twins. Are you sure he's better? It's not like he completely cured. He's just no longer in danger of dying. How could I have missed it? Every time we saw her, he it was a different one. And that means there's a 17th student. It was them all along. The Olsen twins. That's the answer. I liked him better uh, when he couldn't speak. Okay. Thank God. I'm so relieved that the Komaito's Komida, uh, back with us. Oh, this is such a relief. Oh my, I've gotten all dizzy. I'm not sure why, but my head's spinning. You better get some sleep. I don't think you've rested at all the last couple days. You must be dead tired. Well, if you insist, I think I'll go sleep for a while in a rest ward upstairs. You must be a nervous wreck yourself, Hinata. Perhaps you should relax in the lobby. Yeah, I think I will. So, good night. No, wait, it's still morning. Um... Sumiki so tottered unsteadily out of the room. And she really does seem tired. I guess that's why she fell asleep in the middle of, of coming to call me. Uh, I'm all alone with Hinata. Spending time with you is just sheer torture. And don't worry, I'm going. Just get back in bed and try to shake that fever off. Yeah, go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. That's, that's, that's sad, man. That's mean. Ah... <sighs> It's almost time for Monokuma's morning announcement. I think I'll just go wait in the lobby until it comes on. Okay. Huh? Why the monitor's blinking? But that's strange. It's not time for our chat yet. Hmm. I guess what we can do is well. How about we save that for next time, guys? Whatever. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. I'll see you guys later.